Welcome to Atlanta, Georgia, the Flats. Bobby Dodd Stadium, home of the Georgia Tech Yellow Jackets and the Ramblin' Wreck, hoping to rev up that engine. We believe we've got a great one in store today, and we've got a team that makes it into the top 25. Now when you go on the road, that's when you prove you belong. As we'll see, the number 11 team in the country, the Florida State Seminoles, taking on another team from the ACC, the Georgia Tech Yellow Jackets. For EA Sports College Football, Reese Davis with you alongside David Pollock and Jesse Palmer, and guys, can't wait to get this one started. And the Yellow Jackets will put total leather and will get started. Here he comes from inside his own five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. The Seminoles offense will get the first swing of the game. And there's a man who believes he is always open. He carries that swag and that aura of a big-time playmaker, guys. He's got to catch the football. If you're the quarterback coming into this one, you are looking for this guy early, and David, you're looking for him often. And this offense better find ways to feature him. Find him, like you said, Jesse, early, often, deep, shallow. Get this man the football. Now on second and short after the first down completion. He'll pull it on the read. And he gets it up to the 36. It'll be a first down. There's an example of the offense taking advantage of all the attention the defense is giving this outstanding running back. Remember, he's one of the best in the game. They're expecting him to get the football. So the quarterback says, you know what? I'll just keep it. No one's keying on me. I'm going to get upfield and find an explosive play. The give. A confident, tough, efficient run gets it up to the 44. Well, it's plays like that that will help this offense stay in rhythm all game long. If you can have that kind of success on first down running the football, it just opens up your entire playbook moving forward. Got eight on first down, now looking at a second and two. The gift to the back. Brought down to the ground, but he has enough for the first down. It's just not easy to bring this guy down, is it? He is so dangerous once he gets the ball in his hands. And it makes me think back to old, great seminal running backs like Warwick Dunn, Travis Miner, a guy that I used to play against. Uh, how about Dalvin Cook, even? Just guys that could make the first guy miss, and then they were able to just explode and burst and take it the distance. This guy right here, he is a unique talent. Yeah, and the running back didn't get much here, but, you know, you clearly want to always establish the tempo, run the football, be consistent, make that defense physically meet the challenge. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Now they're going to throw it. The quick out. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. Nice catch there. I'll tell you, the, the Seminole passing attack has come a long way over the years. When I was playing against them back in the day, they were in the I formation every single play. Maybe it was play action. Maybe it was a shot play to the perimeter of the field. Now, they've got guys running all different kinds of routes, playing at different tempos, lining up all over the field. This dude is a guy you just have to know where he is every single snap. Defense there to make the stop after a pickup of two to the 30. And the defense doing a great job committing to the run. When you commit to the run like this, obviously you can give up some plays in the passing game, but you got to stop the run first. After picking up a couple at second and eight, on the ground, it's Tua Feely. Dropped after a pickup of three down to the 26. at the 26 it's third and short and they'd love to pick up the first down and avoid settling for the field goal they try to pop a run on the draw did everything he could to discard the tacklers but he was just able to get back to where he started keep the foot on the pedal if you're on offense or you got that yardage yeah you didn't get the first down but you've set yourself up now to go for it here and keep this drive alive 
And on fourth down, they'll try to salvage the drive with a field goal. This one will be a 43-yard field goal attempt from the left hash. He splits the uprights and puts three on the board. And that'll put the first points of the game on the board. It's three to nothing. I'll tell you, this is not an easy place to play on the road, especially at nighttime. This crowd, they get loud. That's the way it's been so far, but they have a nice drive to open it up. They're able to execute. They put themselves in field goal range, knock it through the uprights. They did exactly what they needed to do, taking a 3-0 lead here early on the road. That's impressive. After putting up the field goal, they're set to kick it away. And he takes this from inside the five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. So Georgia Tech's offense will take the field for the first time. Here are our impact players for this game, and it goes beyond executing an assignment to make an impact in the game. Yeah, obviously we were talking to both coaching staffs this week, and we asked them who needs to step up and play well. They immediately pointed to these guys right here. They are the key for their respective teams. Yeah, and they don't always show up in the box score, but these guys are the leaders. These are the guys getting everybody organized and have to play well for their team to succeed. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. The give to the back. And he'll be tackled, but there is a flag on the field. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. That penalty moves the ball back 10 yards. We'll replay the down. Offense gets set for second down. To the air, it's King. Steps away to find some room. He'll pull it down and run. A really nice run and gain, and he gets down to avoid taking punishment. I'll tell you what, man, this guy bails out his offensive line a lot. We've seen it over and over. Protection isn't always perfect, but he's just got the ability to scramble and just to create and extend plays. Wasn't able to get the first down there, but look at the situation now he's put his offense in. He was able to get a nice chunk of yardage back to make this decision on third down for the play caller a whole lot easier. Now he's going to break the pocket. Picks up the first down and gets down to avoid contact. Oh, nice job. Nice way to end that play for the QB. He does a really good job scrambling, getting the first down, and getting down. Because defensively, I'm trying to get a lick. Anytime I can hit the quarterback, that is a win. The Yellow Jackets come to the line with a fresh set of downs. The offense showing motion from the tight end, trying to get a read on the D. On the run, it's Haynes. At the 45, on his way! And the big game, and they've got it on the 46. Defense is going to have their hands full trying to stop this guy. They better rally to the football and get multiple hats because he is not easy to bring down. And the Yellow Jackets are on the move. To the ground, he's got it again. A seven-yard pickup. It'll be second and three. You want to talk about making it easy for an offensive coordinator to pick up a bunch of yards on first down, make that second down really, really manageable. That's a great job by the offense. And now on second down for this offense. Quarterback on the keeper. They get him on the ground, and with that, we'll head to the second quarter. That's the end of the quarter, and Florida State has the lead. We've played one before we move on. Let's have a look at the stats. They've switched into the field, and we're ready to get things started here in the second. This drive has been exclusively on the ground. Could they be setting up a shot play? They'll make the stop, and he gets four on the play balls at the 25. And that's a really nice play. It's impressive. Once first down, the defense thinks you might be running a football. You still can line up. You can get some movement at the point of attack and find a little crease for your running back. Solid pickup of four on first down. It's second and six. They've softened them up with a run. Now to throw it. He's got his man. 
And the defense makes the immediate tackle, but he has enough for the first down. Nice completion here to this wide receiver. And you're going to see this receiver line up in different spots all over the field all game long. Defense has got to keep their eye on where this guy is because they know he's a big part of this offensive success. Give to the running back. Sweet feet on the move. Gets out of bounds after the big game, but they've got him first and goal. Every offense wants to be able to run the ball and be physical, especially on first down. And you want to create second and short, third and short, or just get first downs like that run right there. The Yellow Jackets trying to get a touchdown on first and goal. They'll try to get it in with the run. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. So no room to run there, and you wonder after that loss on first down where they turn now. Yeah, and that's why it's so important for the defense to win these first downs, right? You want to create negative plays to make this offense so much more predictable. After getting nothing done on first down, second and goal from the six. The run up the middle here, looking for a path to the end zone. And how about that interior defense stuffing the run for nothing? It's looking like they're going to have to throw this one in now on third down, David. And you know the execution just has to be spot on. Timing especially at the quarterback position here. And thinking about the defense, they're aggressive in these situations. They're going to play man. They're going to play up tight on you. So I know that. Now how do I counter punch and attack this defense? Working that left side now. And they've got him down after the short completion, but they inch closer and closer to Pater. Man, and that's just making it way too easy on the defense. They're laughing at that short throw. They're like, really? Okay, we'll just make an easy tackle and jog our punt return team out on the field. You're going to make it that easy for us. Instead of opting for the chip shot field goal attempt and tying the game, these guys... Into the end zone he goes. Touchdown, Georgia Tech! about this offense a big situation on fourth and goal where you trust your running back you trust your offensive line you trust the physicality of this unit and they reward that trust and they punch it in for six PAT unit on the field. And the extra point makes it 7-3. Precise, relentless execution on that 13-play scoring drive. And they capped it off with a one-yard punch. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. On the run from inside his own five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Guys, here comes that Florida State offense back onto the field. Hands it off. Makes him talk to the hand. A huge pickup on the play before he goes out of bounds, but the question is, hold, will hold, hold, it hold, stand? Hold. There is a penalty marker on the field. Amazing how many times an offensive holding penalty will stall a drive. We'll see if the offense can overcome it. Out of the shoot, quick toss to the right. He's brought down quickly. Minimal gain there, still a bit short of the first down. This quarterback right now is in a groove, and he's doing a nice job in pre snap He's reading the coverage, and he's getting an idea of where he wants to go with the football. That's why the ball's coming out of his hands so quickly. That's why he seems like he's in a great rhythm right now. Motion from the offense. The touch pass on the jet sweep. A little more space opened up that playbook even more as they pick up the first down out to the 30. I love that play call, and I love the timing of the pre-snap motion. Because the quarterback was able to get it to the receiver right behind the offensive line, because of the timing, he was able to outflank the defense. That puts him out in space where he's able to use his speed. Nice job with the pre-snap motion and timing. The give is to Williams. Just ran over it. He got a bunch and looked close to getting a lot more, but he's got the first down. That is such a good run. I'll tell you, if you're going to put on a seminal helmet, you better be dangerous with the ball in your hands at the running back position, right? You think back to the late, great Bobby Bowden. 
he was always able to recruit a difference maker at that position. He would have loved to have this guy in his offense because it feels like he can score a touchdown every single time he has the ball. Across the 45. And chunk plays are the name of the game, and they get one here before the defense finally makes a stop. Yeah, and, and way to be creative, way to get the ball in the perimeter really quickly, get some speed outside. All you got to do is secure that edge, and you're just trying to get that first down. Nice job, nice play call by the offense. The clock has reached the two-minute mark, and they have a chance to at least cut into this lead before the break. The Seminoles have it with a first and ten. He wants to throw. Finds his tight end. He's brought down, but there's a flag on the field. Let's see which way that's going to go. Foul. Face mask. Face mask. Defense. Defense. You might get away with grabbing just about anything except the face mask. Got to keep those hands below the face mask. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. Operating in the red zone here on second down. To the air, it's Uyunglele. They'll throw it to the back on the screen. And they wrap him up, but not before he gets enough on the catch for the first down. Well, it's a nice play design there. You're getting the running back involved in the pass game. Quarterback gives it to him early so he can go to work upfield and get the first down. And guys, how much better does it feel if you go to that locker room with a lead? They have a chance to do it here. Looking to throw. Got it! And he will score! Touchdown, no! And I just love the execution by this offense. Late in the half, man, you want to take the lead. You want to get that momentum on your side, and they do it. They finish it with the passing game. And I'll tell you what, keep that passing game up. You can keep this lead, keep the momentum, and keep putting up numbers. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point puts them up by a field goal. A 70-yard touchdown drive, and the score comes on a five-yard touchdown pass. Kickoff team has the ball teed up, and they're about ready to go. Looks like he's going to try to return it. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. The rambling wreck offense rolls back onto the field. Pocket starts to collapse. Setting up the screen. On the move at the 30. Finally run out of bounds, but he has his offense rolling with a first down. And they executed that running back screen to perfection. Quarterback held on to it and let the rush get to him. Offensive lineman got out in position, and the running back sold it too. Once he had the ball in his hands, he just had blockers and green field out in front of him. They pick up an explosive play on a running back screen. That's the type of explosive play you love to start a drive with. First down from the 42. Looking for a man. It's King. Snags it over the middle. A timeout is called as this offense tries to find a way to get more points on the board before the half. That completion leaves us with second and medium. He's looking to throw. Got the quick pass. He steps out of bounds, but it will be enough for a first down. I'll tell you, QBs and receivers, they practice these out routes all week long. You've got to anticipate. You've got to be comfortable throwing it before he gets out of his break. And they executed it perfectly right there to pick up that first. It's first and 10 from the 44-yard line. Use the play fake. Now to throw. 
unloads to the wideout. Got his man downfield. We got a timeout here late in the first half, and they'll try to get more points on the board before the break. They're in the red zone, first and ten from the 20. Trying to cap this drive with the pass. Quarterback just flat missed it. Incomplete. Running out of time here in the first half. They're going to have to be efficient to put some points on the board before the break. On second down, he'll let it fly. That one will be incomplete, and we are down to 10 seconds to go. Man, when you go over the middle, you got to be willing to take the punishment. You're going to get hit a lot of times anyways, so you might as well catch the football. But his arms are starting to look a little bit like Reese Davis when the check comes at dinner. They were on the move, but two straight incompletions have them staring at third and ten. Throws to the wideout. He can't find his man, and the clock stops with six seconds left. Tell you what, I don't know if the offense was expecting man coverage that time. Third and long in field goal range, you're expecting it to be zone. Instead, they lock him up man-to-man, -man, everybody on an island, everybody won. They get the incompletion now setting up for him. On fourth down, they'll try to get something out of this drive before the end of the half. It's good. And guys, that field goal draws us even as we get close to half. After that latest answer return, and that is priority one. You don't want some big return to give up a cheap touchdown on the final play of the half. First half in the books. Time now to join Kevin Connors in our halftime update. Gentlemen, what else is new? A really raucous environment there in Atlanta. It's been very evenly played through two quarters. Both teams have been physical. Both teams have battled there in the trenches. Neither has been perfect, but they're both right there in this game. And it's kind of the calm before the storm. Each side sort of licking their wounds right now, but expect another fight in a phone booth in this second half. With that said, let's send it back to the fifth oldest venue in college football, Bobby Dodd Stadium. On the move from inside is five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. Georgia Tech has the ball back, and here comes the Yellow Jacket offense. The sledding has been tough. Scores have been at a premium, Jesse, and every possession seems like it could switch the momentum of the game. Yeah, Reese, for this offense, just feels like they just haven't been as physical. And for this offensive coordinator, David, he's having to go deep into the playbook just to try to generate a first down. Well, and the good thing is there's not a ton of game pressure because the other side's not scoring either. But if you can find that one thing that... Get that one positive play, and then maybe you get those juices going and something can start to build. Quickly complete. He's brought down, but there's a flag on the play. Let's see if it stands. Hold it, hold it, up and up and We'll repeat the previous down, but this time the offense has 10 more yards it has to cover. Back to pass, it's King. Gets it out fast. They make the stop, but not before he takes a chunk out of what they need to move the sticks. And quarterback dropping back, understanding I'm getting zone coverage. All I got to do is be a little bit patient, manipulate that defense a little bit. My wide receiver runs that drag, and I get the first down. You make up the game plan and not a lot on the play sheet for this. Third and long from inside their own 20. And the incomplete pass will bring up fourth down. And that, and that was good defense again. And unfortunately, we've been saying that all game long. Really, really good defense or... Listen, you can spin on the other side. This offense has really been bad. And the Yellow Jackets send out the punt unit. The punters have had the day off up to this point. First one of the game. He gets a block. Not able to pop the big return, but they've got the ball back and ready to go with a fresh possession. The Seminoles have it back. They'll try to get that offensive spear flaming. 
And in a low-scoring game like this one, David, every possession is magnified. And I think more than anything, it just gets frustrating. And you got to put that behind you. you got to see what this defense has been doing to be so successful. Palmer, now use it against them. Yeah, David, I think for a play caller, this is tough, right? It's like you have to have the perfect play on just to get a first down. In these types of games, I think you're just trying to get guys out in space, see if the dude can break a tackle. Maybe that generates an explosive play, and it breaks this trend. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. And that's what makes this defense so difficult to run against. They've got guys up front that just push offensive linemen backwards. They basically push the blockers right into the lap of that running back. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. Fires to the wideout. Can't make the connection on third down thanks to that tough, hard-nosed pass defense. And now it's fourth down. This is a point where you just got to be able to focus. The critical down and distances in this game, like that third down right there, when it's a good throw, you got to make the catch. You've got to be able to make that play. And the Seminoles will try to pin them back with the punt. First punt of the day, and he'd love to lock them up close to their goal line. And the punt hits ground at the two and goes into the end zone. He just missed, pinning them right in the shadow of the goal post. It'll come out to the 20. Pressure coming. Here he goes, breaking the pocket. Crosses the 30. He's got a late. And a nice pickup on the run. It gets down to avoid contact. You know, QBs want to make those big plays. They want, to, they want to put up the big stats. But when nothing's there, sometimes you just tuck the ball, get a minimal gain. I like the slide, by the way, too. Get down and don't take a big hit. They'll snap this one from the 32. It's first down. From the gun, they'll try to impose their will. Got behind those pads and picked up three after the 35. You know, it's so important for offenses to want to keep third downs manageable. The way you do that is by having success like that, running the football on first down. Got three on first down at second and seven. Dropping back, it's King. Receiver looks it in, it's complete. Nice pitch and catch there, and they'll have enough for the first down. Great job by the offense, being patient, understanding when they're in zone coverage. I gotta hit those tight windows, make those precise passes to get those big plays. The Yellow Jackets come to the line with a new set of downs. Going up top on first down. Got his man quickly. No chance to run, but they still move it forward. I think really good wide receivers do a good job of making every route kind of look the same. You could tell he, he this looked like a vertical route. So if I'm a DB, I'm bailing, and then all of a sudden, he sits that hitch down. Nice job by the wide receiver, create enough separation to create a positive game. Looking to throw on second down. Makes the catch. It's Lane. And they reacted well to the completion, but it was too late to keep him from getting the first down. And I love the awareness by the wide receiver on that play because I'm not sure that route was supposed to be that deep. You got to wonder if the receiver decided maybe to adjust the route a little bit to make sure that he got the first down. They go to the draw. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. I tell you, they tried to go draw in the middle of the field. That back had nowhere to go with the football. He was tackled right away for a loss. The negative play leaves them with second and 12. He's looking to throw. Just a short pass to the tight end. And just a short, safe pass play. They pick up a few. I'll say this, man. In college football, you see a lot of bad tackling. You didn't see it right there. That was an awesome job. First off, being there at the point of attack, once the tight end made the catch, there was no doubt he was going down. Great job, form tackle. A third and long coming up here. Unloads to the wideout. He makes a catch. Makes a grab over the defense, and they are threatening now down at the 15. Wow, and what a great job by that quarterback, finding his open receiver on third down. You know, guys, one of the most telling stats at the end of the game 
is third down conversion percentage. If you're a great third down team, it's invaluable to your offensive success, and that's why teams drill third down so much in practice. Motion trying to get the defense to show his hand. Catch in the middle, it's Singleton. They get it down to the seven on that pass play in prime position for a score. What a ride. It's been through the first three quarters of this game. We are all tied up. Let's check out some stats. These two teams about to find out what they're made of as we open the fourth all tied up. They'll leave it with him. He pushes his way down to the four as they get closer and closer. And I don't care if I get it by two, by 20, by 30, by four. I just, I just want to get the first down, understanding the situation, understanding where the sticks are. Doesn't have to be sexy, but I got to make sure I get to that stick, get to the first down mark. And the offense is so close to the go-ahead score, they can smell it here in the fourth quarter. Quarterback flips it ahead quickly to the receiver. Hard-hitting tackle. The first thing you have to do to make these plays successful offensively is I have to block the edge. I, I got to get my speedster in space. They didn't do a good job of getting that guy out there in space where he could really use his jets. Nice job by the defense understanding it, seeing it, rallying to it, and tackling that guy for a loss. Fast motion from the offense. He'll run it up the middle, trying to pick his way to the end zone. And he was fortunate to get that one back to the line of scrimmage at the five. No gain on the play. All right, so now you're in this third down situation close to the goal line, and it just feels, David, like they're going to have to throw the football in order to score a touchdown here. I like maybe trying to get the quarterback outside on the perimeter and give him a run pass option. I like that, too. Get the quarterback on the move, and here's the thing. If I get close and I get stopped, it's fourth down. Fourth down means go for it. That's all that means now today in college football. Third and short in college football today, you see so much more pass than you used to. The offense stays aggressive, and I think they stay aggressive because they know they're in field goal range. They got that three in their back pocket. So here we are on fourth down, and this field goal kicker is going to face all the pressure in the world. And the kicker delivers the three ball to finish off the drive. And they regain the lead. All field goals are not created equal, guys. Kicks in the fourth quarter to take the lead. They just seem to carry so much more weight. So give that young man credit for getting out there and knocking that thing through the uprights. With all of the pressure, all the eyeballs on him, he delivered. After that last field goal drive, they're set to kick it away. He'll bring it back from inside his spot. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. Guys, here comes that Florida State offense back onto the field. They run the reverse. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. It's so easy to let your eyes lie to you. See the ball kind of go the other way. What's my assignment? My assignment is to make sure I can take the backside. Great job by the defense not getting fooled, playing their assignment, making the play. After getting knocked back to open this drive, it's second and 12. The give is to Williams. And they try to run inside, and there is nowhere to go. Yeah, and this offense has to find a way to run the football. They got to get more creative, or whatever that looks like for this offense, something to jumpstart them, because nothing really going on the ground. Yeah, defensively, though, you got to give them credit, too, because they knew that physically they were going to try to be challenged up front. That was a big M.O. for this offense coming into it. But the defense, they've risen to the occasion. Hit the gas, kid. Wide open ahead. A huge play, and they get it all the way to the 45-yard line. Man, this offense is so dangerous, Reese. They've got dudes all over the field that can make plays. There's a big gainer in the pass game. You get a chunk of yards like that, now the defense is really on its heels. The Seminoles will snap it on first and ten. He's going to pass. A little screen to the running back. Nice move there. And that defense doesn't allow a cutback, and they get him out of bounds after a short game. Well, a nice gainer on that running back screen. How about the offensive line getting downfield and getting blocked? Really help out the back, find some space to go to work. Right on 
target with that last pass. Now it's second and medium. It's a reverse. They get him on the ground, but it's a first down. The Knolls are moving quickly down the field. They go to the ground. And I think they'll give him two on that one, second and eight coming up. How about the job by this defense? And they knew what they were getting into. A really good running back. We talked to him this week. It was the main focus point of this offense, stopping the run game, stopping the run game. Boy, have they showed up and showed out and answered that challenge. Wants to throw. It's Uyunglele. Fires to the tight end. And he'll step out of bounds after a very productive play. The big fella, the tight end, the wide receiver in a tight end's body going up and making the catch. Third and short from the 26. Pretty easy field goal range, but they'd love to pick up the first. They're trying to slow that rush down with the draw. And there were some collisions in there, and the D finally stops him short of the marker. So this is going to be rife with drama and overflowing with pressure on this field goal try. It's good. And we are all tied up here in the fourth. And we're all square as he's set to kick it away. He'll start the return inside his spot. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. The Georgia Tech offense rolls back onto the field. Always good to get points on a drive, David, but chip shot field goals can leave you a little empty. And I think it's great to get points, but the great teams get touchdowns in the red area. You gotta get out there this time and execute a little better on this drive. You're absolutely right, David. Generally, the best red zone offenses are the ones that run the ball the best. So, let's see if they can be a little bit more physical on this drive. And here comes the offense on second down. Scanning the field, it's King. Dances away from the heat. And the pressure will get there. The sack, down he goes in the waning moments. That could be a costly play. And man, it can be dangerous when quarterbacks get outside the pocket. They can stress your defense so bad. You better chase them. You gotta keep running as hard as you can and try to get to him before he can throw that football and especially square those shoulders up. Nice job by the defense continuing to pursue even though he got outside the pocket. This defense has kept them backed up. Now one more stop and they can get off the field on third and long. He'll keep it himself. Open space at the 25. And they'll finally bring him down after he rips off a huge play. Well, this is one of the fastest quarterbacks in college football, and that's why the option's a good idea, because if he can get out in space and he gets a chance to get downfield, he is really difficult to tackle, and he's very difficult to catch, as you saw in that last play, getting a first down. He's looking to throw it. Fires to the wideout. All kinds of room to throw that one in there. We've got a timeout on the field, and we are set up for a terrific finish. And the Yellow Jackets will snap it on first and ten. Looking to move it through the air. Fires left. Hardy find a hole in that secondary. Big, big gain on that one as he steps out of bounds with a first down. Love the individual. 
individual effort by the wide receiver after the catch, making people miss, showing you the speed. Now he set up his offense down in the red zone. Huge play, puts them in the red zone, and now they'll snap it first and 10 from the 15. From the gun, the running back has it. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Timeout call by the defense. It's their first of the half as they'll make some adjustments. Great running backs consistently make people miss. And he did a really good job of breaking one tackle, but he couldn't do it to the next and to the next to the next. The offensive line going to have to do a lot better job, give them some more space so we can get out in the open field and make some plays for this offense. Quick timeout by the defense there, trying to make sure everyone has the same call. Seventh play of the drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. The inside handoff. He'll be down at the four-yard line after that terrific run. The defense going to stop the clock with a timeout. They want to make sure they have everybody on the same page. And as time is dwindling away in this one, the offense is set up first and goal. A great opportunity to get the go-ahead score. They'll try to get it in with the run. Touchdown, Yellow Jackets! And inside a minute to go, they've got the lead. And how about this offense, man? They knew they needed to execute. Great play calling, great drive, put it together. Now you got a chance to go up by seven late in this ball game, and then let your defense go on the field and seal it for you. He'll try to tack on one more. The extra point is good, and now in the fourth, they're up by a touchdown and an extra point. Now that they have the lead, this kickoff unit has to stay in their lane, create some field position, and hand it over to the defense. Here he comes from inside his own five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. The Seminoles have it back. They'll try to get that offensive spear flaming. Throws to the wideout. He just about put this game away if he'd been able to hold on to that one. Instead, it's second down. Well, I know it hasn't been a tremendous day statistically for this quarterback, but his decision-making has been good enough to win this game. He hasn't thrown a lot of TDs so far, but when things aren't open, he throws it away like on that play right there. He's not putting his team in a bad spot, and that's why they still have a shot to walk out of here with a W. This time, it's complete. They make the stop after the catch, and still some work to do to pick up that first down. You see this more and more in college football. Motion the running back out of the backfield. What am I looking for? I'm looking to see if it's man coming. Does a linebacker go and chase him? If he does, guess what I get to do? Take advantage of my matchup. I like my speed better than yours. And oh no, he, he spikes the ball on fourth down. I, did he think he had another down? They'll lose the football. this late in the game there's really no question about it to have any chance to tie this thing up they have to convert here on fourth down throws to the tight end what a job to lay out and make the catch let me tell you this senior quarterback can flat fit it in a tight window <laughs> 